Hey guys, this is your girl Alicia Pink and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. Thank you guys for clicking. Thank you guys for watching. Okay, so I am about to get in um, a reaction video for The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, part three, episode three. Um, this is chapter 23, heavy is the crown so yeah let's get into it guys because you know the dark lord put him through hell when um he was in his body so he's still having nightmares about that and his feet look crazy so is he like turning into like the dark lord or something i don't know it's just weird let's get back into it i just got you back i was done the whole day with you and then ross so there's a carnival opening tonight i was to have so divine it's simply not meant to be. Uh, Mr. Scratch, did you miss me? You won't take me back. I'd sooner die first. I'm not here for you. Sabrina is needed at court. Sabrina. 
I am. Why would Sabrina be needed in hell? It's a long story, no. but in order to get you out of hell, I had to claim the throne. Oh, wow. So you did as Lucifer asked? You queen of hell? But technically, yes, but not really. I made Lilith my regent so she could handle the day-to-day. -day. Yes, but you foolishly threatened the infernal court with a reformation, and now they're demanding to hear your plans? They've already gathered a pandemonium, so... Well, I'm not going. I have plans with Nick. As regent, there is only so much I can do. That's fine, but like I said... You should go. What? That is... I mean, if this is something that you need to do... It is. I don't feel right about leaving you. Sabrina. Go. Do what you do best and be a total badass. And we can meet up at the academy. I'll be back for lunch. Dark Lord. Else he would have destroyed them. So if I find Herod's crown, will that put to bed Caliban's challenge? That's a trinity of objects, so probably end up being the best two out of three. <sighs> Nothing's ever easy. No, it is not. leadership opportunity I wish to discuss with you, Prudence. I'd like to designate you Prefect of Students. Oh, uh, what would my duties be? Administrative. Helping me. Uh, teaching, of course. In addition... I this. It's awful. You must come at once. What if Lilith's name? More of the Dark Lord's handiwork. No, it's Gerald. Just Gerald, you try to fly, but it's never flown like this before. Stupid boy. As if we weren't already short on warlocks. Hello, Smith. Hello, Smith, are you caught cold? Get thee to a warm bed. And tell your classmates, henceforth there is to be no unsupervised flying. Not do we understand what's happening to us? So basically, everyone is getting sick or catching something. Um, it's making a witch sick and not be able to do their magic properly. Hmm. I wonder does that have anything to do with the old ones or something like that? I don't know. We will see. We will see. Let's get back into it. <laughs> I'm assuming because you're still alive that the aunties do not know. No. Where is Lilith in all of this? Lilith is my regent. She's handling most of the workload, but this prince of hell challenged my queenship, and now I have to find King Herod's crown before he does, and I am praying you can help me. Wait, so you're on an Arthurian quest for the unholy regalia. Starting with Herod's crown. Will you help me? How can I say no to a queen? My sentiments exactly. Pick. I was just going to come find you. That's okay. I found you instead. Mm. Do you have plans for lunch? Is that our place? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't tell you how much it fortifies me after this morning's wretched incident to see you so enthralled by your satanic scriptures. Oh, we're not reading scriptures, Director Spellman. What are you reading, if not your studies? <laughs> What's this? What's happening? It's Buxom and the Beast. It's a witchy romance novel. Everyone's obsessed. 
bodice ripper in the most delicious of ways. This tale of a humble witch and her incubus lover <laughs> being terrorized by the witch's loveless spinster hag of a <laughs> sister. Oh, God. <laughs> By Helga Stilwell. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so Hilda wrote a novel about <laughs> her sister being the villain and she's pissed. Hilarious. Let's <laughs> Hilarious. Let's get back into it, guys. <laughs> Hey, Theo, what's up? Have you seen these flyers? I guess there's like a carnival in town and an opening nights tonight. Cool. Wanna go? With me and my friends, it'd be like a group thing. Yeah, sure. Really? Awesome. Cool. but I love them. <laughs> That's so messed up. Why would they why would they do that? Like, come on, leave Nick and Sabrina alone. Like I am not team Nick or Sabrina at all. I'm not gonna sit here and say I am. I don't really care for them. But that's messed up. <laughs> it was hilarious though. <laughs> oh my god. First excavated by Italian archaeologists in 1962. And unofficially? By an American archaeologist and warlock, mm -hmm. Edward Robinson, in 1838. From there, the crown changed hands. I actually time missed them too, by the way. They have great chemistry. Crowley to, well, an American soldier, Private Benjamin Blossom, who recovered the crown from Hitler's bunker in 1945. Now, from there, Blossom, and here's a kicker, sneaked the crown back to his hometown of... If you say Greendale, I'll lose my mind. <laughs> Close, but no, Riverdale, where he was murdered. Of 
Oh, Riverdale, really? Some group of occultists who were after the crown, but they never found it. Well, how are we going to find the crown? Riverdale's a big, scary place. True. But we have this. A compass? And a moral compass. Now, this one belonged to the Flying Dutchman, or was it the Ancient Mariner? I don't remember. But yours truly has recalibrated this one to be highly sensitive to energies from occult items. For instance, your Book of the Beast. Ambrose, you're a genius. Once we reach Riverdale, we follow the compass to wherever it leads us. Look alive. left him to hell. Well, now hold on, cousin. This this crown is radiating an enormous amount of energy. The compass could sense it. I could feel it. If I could if I could borrow it for a few hours to study its properties, I might be able to harness its power. Restore our coven's strength. I don't know, Ambrose. Don't do Come it. Come to the carnival with your friends. That should give me enough time. Then you may do with it as easy fit. No. Fine, fine, but then we destroy it together. Promise? I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> a good idea look, look the thing the man is not really dead or whatever the hell this shit is it's not a good idea like look what came out of the tree now it's about to go out there it's crown and probably try to kill them and not a good idea at all let's get back into it <laughs> try to kill Sabrina. I don't know Ambrose. His ass better be okay because I love him. He is one of my favorite characters as well. I'm not playing with y'all. Okay. <laughs> 